الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد so we will be raised up with those people we love so if you love movie stars and famous actors and musicians and play writers and authors and so forth then those are the people you'll be raised up with if that's where your heart is inclined towards those people but if your love is purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you love Allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam more than everything in the world and everyone in the world then this bi'idn Allah ta'ala is who you'll be raised up with and here's a hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which verifies for us this very important matter in that it is important to have your hearts connected with your lord subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning by loving him and worshiping him and uh, loving his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam by following what his sunnah following his way his way of life his statements and his actions and the things that he loved and agreed with sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala hadathana muslim ibn ibrahima qala hadathana hisham qala hadathana qatadatu an anasin an rajala سأل نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا نبي الله متى سعى فقال وما أعددت لها قال أعددت لها من كبير إلا أني أحب الله ورسوله فقال المرء مع من أحب قال أنس فما رأيت, المس... فما رأيت المسلمين فرحوا بعد الإسلام أشد مما فرحوا يومئذ And this was uh, narrated, uh, collected in uh, by Imam Bukhari in Adab al-Mufrid and also this hadith was uh, also collected in uh, also collected in al-Musannif and also uh, Imam Muslim In this hadith narration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu said narrated that a man asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said O Prophet of Allah when is the hour meaning when is the day of judgment so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded by saying and what have you prepared for it so the man said, I have not prepared very much for it, except that I love Allah and His Messenger. Then the Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, A person is with the one in which he loves. Then Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala said, I didn't see uh, a day more happier or that the Muslims were more happier after they had become Muslim after Islam happier than that day what we learn from this hadith we learn the benefit of loving Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and righteous people and the people of good, meaning the scholars and those people who are known for their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're known for their God-fearfulness, their taqwa and those other attributes which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that this is a, a great benefit in Islam and something very important for us as Muslims to strive to increase our, our hearts, open our hearts most importantly to the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to the righteous people those people who are righteous those people who are who are scholars of Islam those people who are people of knowledge students of knowledge who are sacrificing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to learn the religion and teach the people their religion and this is a great benefit and a great reward and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises the people with those whom they love Another benefit we gain from this, it shows that the happiness, the great happiness of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ 
with that hadith, when they heard that hadith of the Prophet wasallam, that they became excessively happy because they loved Allah and His Messenger more than anything else. And so that was g- glad tidings for them from the Prophet wasallam that they would, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, be raised up with the Prophet wasallam on the Day of Judgment and meaning that they would be his companions in the paradise. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So those are just some of the benefits we gain from that hadith. So I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those people who love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, love Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than anything in this world. And may Allah bless us to be closer to Him and forgive us of our sins. And bless us to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions. Radiyallahu taala anhum ajma'in. Wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.